Dolby Atmos mixing is a method of music or sound production that allows for 3D, uh, 3D mixing and 3D sound position that's over speakers or uh, binaurally over headphones. Uh, but the main principle is that it uses a specific technology to position sound in three dimensions. Dolby Atmos is an evolution of surround sound where traditional surround sound we would deal with beds which are essentially speakers, we now deal with objects and that's kind of the important part of Dolby Atmos. A Dolby Atmos system or a suite like this room, the system knows where the speakers are in the room in relation to the listener. So you could bounce a mix down in this room and take it to a, a, a stadium with 100,000 speakers and everything is exactly where it should have been in the original room. From a student's point of view, um, it opens a massive opportunity so for future careers in games, film and TV and in music. Um, we're always open to new technologies and this one for the music industry is a brand new technology offering a, a new experience. I think it's quite important for students to know how to set up a session, how to receive a session that looks like that and just to understand the functionality of this technology. Um, it's currently uh, in the music industry, it's a sort of um, a leading delivery method uh, and it's definitely something that all the music producers and sound engineers and musicians uh, want to discover. A lot of releases are being remixed in Dolby Atmos, so having that in your portfolio as a skill is really important if you want to work in the music industry. To be where you are. It's a quite different way of listening to music if you're not used to uh, spatial audio. It definitely allows the music producers a different layer of creativity and expression. There's the kind of a different dimension of translating emotion or uh, intensity. It can deliver a really evoking experience. Um, so just recommend to anyone new to just explore it and listen as much as you can. It's really hard to explain my own emotions involved in listening to a, 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 a well-mixed Dolby Atmos track. I know that when we got this suite first installed and Jack, the head technician, uh, came up to me and said, you've got to listen to Elton John, Rocket Man. And I thought, of all the songs to, to pick, is that, is that really the one that's going to wow me, knowing my taste in music? But I sat down and listened to it. At, he was right. It, it is the one to listen to. Um, it, it really sort of adds to the experience to the point where you just, you feel like you're in the room with the band and, and they're right there in front of you. Um, it's an incredible experience. <laughs> Mixing in Dolby is definitely uh, something that comes with a new layer of technical challenge, um, which also means, of course, that it's another layer of technical skill for us to have. But also it does allow, once all the things are set up and everything's in place and you kind of uh, have the freedom to make some creative choices in spatial positioning of sound and kind of playing with either the depth or some intensity, um, that's when things become really, really quite exciting and there's quite a lot of freedom with that. It's fun, basically. So as soon as you've got your session up and running and you've got all the instruments leveled, you can then place them to anywhere in the room and essentially do whatever you like. For me, it opens up from the old days of uh, stereo image, you can actually just have the whole room as your sound stage and fire sounds from anywhere in the room and get an emotional experience um, from front to back and a height and including the subs. Having access to Dolby Atmos uh, mixing f facilities is still quite a new thing in education. So having that as part of our cur curriculum and allowing our students to 
not just have access to it, but actually teaching them how to use it and giving them kind of good workflow and good practice examples is something that is really going to help them kind of thrive in music industry. It's something that's going to be quite sought after. Uh, and it's not necessarily a type of facility that is easy to access. I think at the minute it's quite a, a unique feature to an institute like ours. I think it's also fair to say that uh, Dolby themselves have been so impressed that they've actually run some masterclasses here themselves and will be back again with some of our students. Um, so it's, it's quite a unique setup here. There are companies like Apple and Tidal and Amazon who are really pushing uh, spatial audio at the minute. So, uh, you know, it is kind of the, the, the next big thing in the world of music and music production. And then if you look at companies like uh, the new Mercedes S-Class has got Dolby Atmos system built into it. Um, if you look at the Sonos SoundArc soundbar, uh, that's that home listening experience and the technology they've done with phase inversions in there is particularly clever and allows for a really good Dolby Atmos experience uh, in your own home. Uh, I don't think we're a, a, a long stretch away from seeing that developed into just standard in TVs or soundbars as a whole or of course cars. Um, so I think the, the Dolby Atmos experience is going to be everyday technology given another 5-10 years. Um, so it's important that our students get ahead of that curve and understand it leaving here not only with a degree and being a good music producer but also understanding the boundaries of the technology and spatial audio.